Hi and welcome. This is the 2023-2024 Clark County School District Spelling Bee Finals. It's an honor for me to be your host. I'm Nathan Tannenbaum. Let's tell you a little bit about the bee. It's taking place in three separate bees. One for eighth grade, one for seventh grade, and here we are with our sixth graders. Today we're going to spell down until we have the first and second place spellers from each grade. So then those top two spellers from each grade will represent the Clark County School District in the Nevada State Spelling Bee. That's going to happen in March. Now, we can't do what we do without our excellent judges representing the CCSD and our community. Our judges today, Amy Langhorst, a CCSD counselor at Clark High School, Billy Joe Guthrie, a middle school counseling specialist, and Tim Jackson, he's the director of high school athletics in the Clark County School District. All right, students, are you ready? Let's have our sixth grade CCSD Spelling Bee final. And we start with Nico. He's from Rogich Middle School. Nico, come on up. We have your first spelling word. And it is collect. The teacher will collect the homework. Collect. C-O-L-L-E-C-T. Collect. Yes. Thanks, Nico. Our next speller here is Junie from Miller Middle School. Hi, Junie. Your, your first spelling word today is wizard. Ricardo is a wizard with technology. Wizard. W-I-Z-A-R-D, wizard. Yes. Ashley is from Hyde Park Middle School. Ashley, here's your first spelling word. It's natural. It's natural to be nervous in a competition. Natural. N-A-T-U-R-A-L, natural. Yes, thank you, Ashley. And now Ethan from Fest Middle School. Ethan, here's your first spelling word. It's format. The letters are in PDF format, which requires the Adobe Acrobat. Format, F-O-R-M-A-T, format. Yes, and here comes Kobe Joshua. He's from Gunderson Middle School. Kobe Joshua, your first word here is oxygen. Trees take in carbon dioxide and emit oxygen. Oxygen. O X Y G E N. Oxygen. Yes. Thanks, Kobe Joshua. Next up, we say hello to Zach from Lead Middle School. Zach, here's your first spelling word. It's grief. Grief overwhelmed her. Grief. G R I E F. Grief. Yes. Have a seat and we welcome Caitlin from Sawyer Middle School. Caitlin, here's your first spelling word. It's pressure. She kicked at the door with her foot and the pressure was enough to open it. Pressure. P-R-E-S-S-U-R-E. -E. Pressure. Correct. Have a seat. So that's round one. We're going to go right into round two and that'll be you, Nico, to come on up for your next spelling word. And that word is develop. Lauren won a grant to develop her own business. Develop. D-E-V-E-L-O-P. Develop. Yes. And here comes Junie. Your next spelling word here is volcano. Deep underneath the mountain, the volcano had been bubbling for years. Volcano. V O L C A. And O oh, volcano. Yes. Thanks, Junie. And here comes Ashley. Your next spelling word is revenge. The team wanted revenge after losing the big game last year. Revenge. R E V E N G E. Revenge. Yes. Thanks, Ashley. Now, Ethan. Your next spelling word now is banquet. Jocelyn attended her soccer banquet. Banquet, B-A-N-K-Q-U-E-T, banquet. And that's incorrect, Ethan. You put a K in there, and I think you realized it. Banquet is just B-A-N-Q-U-E-T. Have a seat over there with the Stonics. We'll see what happens. That brings us to Kobe Joshua. And your next spelling word is utensil. Instead of plastic, you should use a reusable utensil. Utensil. 
U T E N S I L utensil. That's correct. Thanks, Kobe Joshua. Zach? Your next spelling word is prior. I was given no prior notification. Prior. P R I O R. Prior. Yes. Thanks, Zach. And Caitlin. Your next spelling word is abdomen. Jamal's abdomen hurt from doing so many crunches. Abdomen. A B D O M E N. Abdomen. Yes. Thanks, Caitlin. All right, Nico, come on up. We got another spelling word for you. Wattage. The bulb works well for five years if the wattage is appropriate. Wattage. W A T T A G E. Wattage. Yes, thanks, Nico. Junie? Your word now is language. Language is constantly evolving. Language. L A N G U A G E. Language. Yes. And Ashley, come on up. Got another word for you. And your word is tuxedo. If the wedding is this Saturday, why haven't they ordered their tuxedo? Tuxedo. T U X E D O. Tuxedo. Yes. Thanks, Ashley. Kobe Joshua? Your next spelling word is nurture. It's important to nurture a good working relationship. Nurture. N U R T U R E. Nurture. Yes, thanks, Kobe Joshua. Now, Zach. Your next spelling word syringe. The fluid can be drawn off with a syringe. Syringe. S. Y R I N G E syringe. Yes, thank you, Zach. Now, Caitlin. Your next spelling word: flannel. They decided to wear flannel for the group picture. Flannel. F L A N N E L. Flannel. Yes. All right, another round of spelling coming your way. That's you, Nico. Come on up for your next spelling word. It is identical. I have three identical blue suits. Identical. I D E N T I C A L. Identical. Yes, thanks, Nico. Junie. Here's your next spelling word. It's Haggle. Jose taught him how to haggle with the furniture dealer. Haggle? Mm -hmm. H-A-G-G-L-E. Haggle? Yes. All right, Junie. Now, Ashley. Your next spelling word is digression. Talking about money now would be a digression from the main purpose of a meeting. Digression. D I G R E S I O N, digression. Yeah, and that is incorrect. You, there's two S's in digression D I G R E S S I O N. So have a seat over there with Miss Stonix, and we'll see what happens. Thank you so much, Ashley. And Kobe Joshua, you're next. Your spelling word here is caffeine. Caffeine, found in coffee and tea, is a mild stimulant. Caffeine. C A F F E I N E. Caffeine. Yes. All right, Kobe Joshua. Now, Zach, got another spelling word for you. It's punctuation. Always check, double check spelling and punctuation. Punctuation. P U N C T U A T I O N. Punctuation. Yes, thanks, Zach. Now, Caitlin. Your next spelling word nebulize. 
Some asthmatics have a machine that will nebulize their medication. Nebulize. N E B U L I Z E. Nebulize. Yes. All right, so judges, I'm pretty sure that's two rounds of spelling, so we're going back to vocabulary now. Okay, students, remember, no spelling, a word with two possible choices, and you tell me whether A or B is correct in your mind. Uh, I believe we're on word number seven. So, Nico, come on up for another vocabulary word. And it is shroud. A shroud is used to either A, to display, or B, to cover. B. Yes. Thanks, Nico. Junie, come on up for your next vocabulary word. And it is proprietor. A proprietor is either A, an owner, or B, an employee. A. Yes. You got it, Junie. We're on to Kobe Joshua. And your vocabulary word here is vapid. If something is vapid, it's either A, boiling fast, or B, lacking in flavor, zest, animation, or spirit. A? And that's incorrect. <laughs> vapid is the lacking flavor, zest, animation, or spirit. Have a seat with Miss Stonix and we'll see what happens. Uh, Zach, we have a vocabulary word for you. And it's monocle. A monocle is a an eyeglass for one eye, or B, a fur cap. A. And that's correct. Thank you, Zach. And Caitlin, here's your vocabulary word. It's docent. A docent is someone who A, lectures at college, or B, researches nutrition. B. And that's incorrect. It was A, uh, a lectures at college. Okay, so after two rounds of vocabulary, we're going back to another round of spelling. And I believe judges were on word number 27. All right, so Nico, come on up. We have your next spelling word. Remember, say the word, spell the word. Say the word one more time so we know you're done. Your word is iteration. The only difference in the latest iteration of the video game was they changed the setting. Iteration. I-T-T-E-R-A-T-I-O-N. Iteration. And Nico, that's incorrect. There is only one T at the beginning. I-T-E-R-A-T-I-O-N. Have a seat with Bistonix. We'll see what happens. Junie, we have a spelling word for you. And it is opossum. The opossum hung from a large branch. Opossum. O P P. O-S-U-M, opossum. And that's incorrect, Junie. Opossum has only one P, O-P-O, -O, and then two S's, O-P-O-S-S-U-M. -S All right, Zach, come on up for a spelling word. And your word is laceration. She suffered from a laceration on her leg. Laceration, L-A-S-S-U-M. E-R-A-T-I-O-N. Laceration? And that's incorrect, Zach. Laceration has no S's. It's a C word, L-A-C-E-R-A-T-I-O-N. So, guess what? All three of you get to come back and let's see what we got here. Because you never know. Nico, you get another word. And that word is vindictive. He is so vindictive, he doesn't forgive anybody. Vindictive. V-I-N-D-I-C-T-I-V-E. Vindictive. That's correct. Thanks, Nico. All right, Junie, here's another spelling word for you. Terrarium. She described making a terrarium as a science experiment. Terrarium. T -E -R -R -R. T-E-R-R. A R I U M terrarium. Yes. Yes. Have a seat, Judy. You're moving on or you're staying here, that's for sure. 
And Zach, we have another spelling word for you. And that word is repository. She is a repository of knowledge. Repository. R-E-P-O-S-I-T-O-R-Y. Repository. Yes. All right, you all three are hanging in there, so we're going to go on with another round. Nico, we got another spelling word for you. And the word is indulgence. Chocolate is my only indulgence. Indulgence. I N D U L G E N C E. Indulgence. Yes, thanks, Nico. Now, Junie. Your next word. Hollandaise. You can't make eggs Benedict without Hollandaise. Hollandaise. H O L L A I N D A S E. Hollandaise. And that's incorrect, Junie. Hollandaise is H O L L A N D A I S E. Have a seat with Miss Tonix. We'll see what happens. Zach, we've got a spelling word for you. And that word is unilaterally. The district unilaterally proclaimed its independence. Unilaterally. U N I L A T E R A L L Y. Unilaterally. And that's correct. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the top two sixth grade spellers in the Clark County School District. However, gentlemen, you're not done yet. Guess what? We're going to have a spell down because we need to find out which of you is our first place speller and which of uh, you is our second place speller. You got to keep your brains going here, guys, because we're going to do a little spell off here. So, Nico, step up. We have another word for you. Uh, Nico, your word here is egregious. Sam committed an egregious mistake. Egregious. A-G-R-E-G-I-O-U-S. Egregious. And that is incorrect, but don't go anywhere. Just sit right there in your seat. Egregious starts with the letter E. Oh. The rest of it was correct. E-G-R-E-G-I-O-U-S. Zach, come on up. <clears throat> and your next word here is precariously. The hotel was perched precariously on a steep hillside. Precariously. P-R-E-C-A-R-I-O-U-S-L-Y. Precariously. And that is correct. So ladies and gentlemen, Zach is our top sixth grade speller. Nico, our second sixth grade speller. You're both going to the Nevada State Spelling Bee. Can we give them another round of applause? And ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere because as the CCSD Spelling Bee Final continues, next up will be our seventh grade spellers. All right, it's time to get down to business as we meet our bright young seventh grade spellers. And we'll start with Olive from Miller Middle School. Step on up, Olive. We have your first spelling word, and it is... Waffle. The child asked his parent for a waffle for breakfast. Waffle. W-A-F-F-L-E. Waffle. Yes. Thanks. That brings us to Leonardo. Hi, Leonardo from Webb Middle School. Leonardo, your first spelling word is absent. Make sure you're not absent during the test. Absent. A-B-S-E-N-T. Absent. Yes. Thanks, Leonardo. And that brings us to Sakrit Panya from Fremont Middle School. Hi, your first spelling word is favorite. Mrs. Clark's my favorite teacher. Favorite, F-A-V-O-R-I-T-E, -E. favorite. Yes, thank you. And that brings us to Emma from Lead Middle School. Emma, your first spelling word is trendy. Fashion from the 90s is trendy again. Trendy. T-R-E-N-D-Y. Trendy. Yes. And that brings us to Dean from Mackey Middle School. Come on up, Dean. Your first spelling word is leather. 
Leather jackets last for years. Leather. L E A T H E R. Leather. That's correct. Thanks, Dean. And here we have Julian from Greenspun Junior High School. Julian, your first spelling word is kidney. Doctors removed the healthy kidney from the donor. Kidney. K I D N E. Why? Kidney. Yes, that's round one. We're going right on to round two, and that means Olive gets to step up again with your next spelling word, which is element. Any business venture contains an element of risk. Element. E-L-E-M-E-N-T. Element. Yes, thank you. And here's Leonardo for your next word, galaxy. Astronomers have discovered a distant galaxy. Galaxy. G-A-L-A-X-Y. Galaxy. Thanks, Leonardo. That's correct, Sakrat Panya. We have a word for you, which is benefit. He couldn't see the benefit of arguing any longer. Benefit. B-E-N-E-F-I-T. Benefit. Yes, and Emma, your next spelling word is mayhem. Their arrival caused mayhem. Mayhem, M-A-Y-H-E-M, -E mayhem. Yes, and Dean, your next spelling word. It's capable. The team was capable of winning the entire tournament. Capable, C-A-P. A, B, L, E. Capable. Yes. Julian, got another spelling word for you. And it is vouch. Experts vouch for the painting's authenticity. Vouch. V, O, U, C, H. Vouch. Yes. Have a seat. So students, you've completed two rounds of spelling. That means that we're moving on to uh, first round here of vocabulary. So remember in this round you don't spell the word. I'm going to give each of you a word and two possible choices about each word and you tell me whether you believe choice A or choice B is the best choice to describe that word. So we're going to start with you Olive. We have a vocabulary word for you and it is Samaritan. A person who's described as a Samaritan is either A highly sarcastic or B, compassionate, eager to help? B. And that's correct. Thank you, Olive. Leonardo, your vocabulary word here is impolite. Someone who's described as impolite is either A, lacking in courteous behavior, or B, very popular at parties. A. Yes, thank you, Leonardo. Sakrat Panya, your vocabulary word, nougat. You will find nougat in either A, a candy or a sweet, or B, a mine or quarry. A. And that's correct. Thank you, Sakrit Panya. Uh, Emma, your vocabulary word here is austerity. If you lived through years of austerity, you either A, were gluttonous, or B, were thrifty. A. And that's incorrect, Emma. It was choice B. Have a seat over there with Miss Stonix. We'll see what happens here. Uh, Dean, we have a vocabulary word for you. It's prodigal. Now, what does it mean to be prodigal? Is it A, wonderful or marvelous? Or B, given to reckless extravagance? A. And that's incorrect. We have it as B, given to reckless extravagance. Have a seat with Miss Stonix. Uh, Julian, we have a vocabulary word for you. Duvet. A duvet is either A, an outhouse, or B, a quilt or comforter. B. And that's correct. All right, so now we're going to go back to spelling. And judges, I believe we're on word number 13. All right, so Olive, this will be you with another spelling word. So we're back to say the word, spell the word, 
and then say the word again to let us know you're done. And all of your next spelling word is halibut. Make sure to try the halibut at dinner. Halibut. H-A-L-I-B-U-T. Halibut. And that's correct. And Leonardo, your next spelling word is surround. Always surround yourself with kind people. Surround. S-U-R-R-O-U-N-D. Surround. Yes. Sakrit Panya. Your next spelling word is manipulate. The teacher had to manipulate the text. Manipulate. M A N I P U L A T E. Manipulate. Correct. Thank you, Sakrit Panya. And Julian? Your next spelling word is jovial. The jovial chef made cooking look easy. Jovial. J O V I A L. Jovial. Correct. So, Olive, you have another spelling word here. And that word is debilitate. A bad case of the flu can debilitate even the strongest athlete. Debilitate. D E B I L I T A T E. Debilitate. Yes. And Leonardo, your next spelling word is obsolete. Floppy disks are now obsolete. Obsolete. O B S O L E T E. Obsolete. Yes, thank you. Sakrit Panya, here's your next spelling word. Necessary. It's not necessary for you to call before you come over. Necessary. N E C E S S A R Y. Necessary. Yes. And Julian, another spelling word for you. It's denotation. The denotation of the word is the dictionary definition. Denotation. D E N O T A T I O N. Denotation. Yes. All right, Olive, here you go. Your word is implement. The school had to implement new procedures. Implement. I M P L E M E N T. Implement. Yes. Thank you. And Leonardo, your next spelling word here is permeate. Water will easily permeate through sand. Permeate. P E R M I A T E. Permeate. And that's incorrect. Leonardo permeate is P-E-R-M-E-A-T-E. -E. So have a seat there with Ms. Stonex. We'll see what happens. Sakwit Pani, we have a spelling word for you. It's Yeti. The mountaineer claimed to have found the footprints of a Yeti. Yeti. Y-E-T-I. Yeti. Yes. Julian, I have a spelling word for you. And it is triumphant. The team had a triumphant season. Triumphant. T-R-I-U-M-P-H-A-N-T. Triumphant. Yes. All right. Another spelling word for you, Olive. And the word is regurgitate. Owls regurgitate partially digested food to feed their young. Regurgitate. R-E-G-U-R-G-I-T-A-T. -E regurgitate. And all of there's an E on the end. Oh. So R-E-G-U-R-G-I-T-A-T-E. -E. So have a seat with, with Miss Stonex. We'll see what happens. Uh, Sakrit Panya, we have a spelling word for you. Call it up. And your word is accumulate. My mom likes to accumulate shoes. Accumulate. A C C U M U L A T E. Accumulate. Yes. All right, Julian, here's a spelling word for you. 
and the word is vitreous. The wind chime has a vitreous nature. Vitreous, V I T R I O U S. Vitreous. And that's incorrect. Julian Vitreous is V I T R E O U S. So, now if I've got this correct, Sakrit Panya, you're for sure one of our top two seventh grade spellers. Now we get to find out who our next of the top two seventh grade spellers will be. And so one of you will be the second top speller in the seventh grade in the Clark County School District. So let's keep on going. And uh, Olive, come on up. Your spelling word here is pageantry. The annual dog show was quite the pageantry. Pageantry. P-A-G-E-A-N-T-R-Y, pageantry. Yes. Julian, come on up. Your next spelling word here is balsamic. The balsamic vinaigrette was perfect. Ba balsamic, B-A-L-S-A-M-I-C, balsamic. Yes. So, Olive? Your next spelling word here is ibuprofen. The doctor prescribed ibuprofen for the patient's pain. Ibuprofen, I-B-U-P-R-O-F-E-N, ibuprofen. That's correct. All right, Julian, got another one for you. And your word is cadaverous. After a long winter, the cadaverous Bear was looking for food. Cadaverous, C A D A V E R O U S, cadaverous. Yes, so we're going to keep on going. All right, Olive, come on up. Your next spelling word is writhe. Boa constrictors writhe through the jungle. Writhe, W-R-I-T-H-E, writhe. Yes, all right, Julian, come on up. And your spelling word here is tolerable. At times, the heat was barely tolerable. Tolerable, T-O-L-E-R-A-B-L-E, -E. tolerable. Yes. All right, Olive, come on up. Your next spelling word now is miscreant. The judge said the criminal was a miscreant and deserved to spend time in prison. Miscreant. M-I-S-C-R-E-A-N-T. Miscreant. Yes. All right, Julian. Your next spelling word is hemorrhage. The patient suffered a cerebral hemorrhage. H E M O R R H A G E. Hemorrhage. Yes, we would have preferred if you said the word first, but we're not going to knock you down on that one, Julian. You're good. All right. Olive, come on back up. Remember, say the word, spell the word, say the word. Here you go, Olive. Your next word, symmetrical. Designers don't like it when a room's not symmetrical. Symmetrical. S-Y-M-M-E-T-R-I-C-A-L. Symmetrical. Yes. Julian? Your word now, gargantuan. The trees were gargantuan. G A R G A N T U A N gargantuan You did it again. But you're okay. Please remember to say the word first so that we know that you know the word you're spelling, but you're good. All right. Hey Olive, here you go. Your next word now is fiduciary. A promoter has a fiduciary relationship with the company. Fiduciary, 
F-I-D-U-C-I-A-R-Y, fiduciary. Yes. And Julian, remember, say the word first. And the word is querulous. Ryan was sent to his room for being querulous and argumentative. Querulous. Q U E Could you repeat the word please? Sure. Querulous. R I L O U S querulous. And that's incorrect. Querulous Q U E R U L O U S. Have a seat over there with Miss Stonix because I want to present our top two seventh grade spellers in the Clark County School District. Let's give these young ladies a round of applause. So stay tuned because we're not done with the CCSD Spelling Bee Finals. Coming up next, the top eighth grade spellers. Let's go ahead and meet our bright young spellers. We're starting in the eighth grade, and are you ready? Let's go. We start with Deanna. Come on up, Deanna. We've got your first spelling word. Deanna's from Woodbury Middle School. Hi, Deanna. Your Hi. first spelling word is weird. The painting looked weird on the wall. Weird. W-E-I-R-D, weird. Yes, thanks, Deanna. And our next speller is Asher. Come on up, Asher. Asher's from Fremont Middle School, and Asher, your first spelling word is twilight. He fell asleep at twilight. Twilight. T-W-I-L-I-G-H-T. -I -I twilight. Yes, sir. Thanks, Asher. Have a seat. And next up is Lane. Hi, Lane. Lane's from White Middle School, and Lane, your first spelling word is mystery. Sherlock Holmes could always solve a mystery. Mystery. M-Y-S-T-E-R-Y. -E mystery. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, Lane. That brings us to Wyatt from Burkholder Middle School. Hey, Wyatt, your first spelling word is literal. He was saying no more than the literal truth. Literal. L-I-T-E-R-A-L, -E literal. Yes, thanks, Wyatt. And here comes Kayla from Miller Middle School. Hi, Kayla. Your first spelling word is abandon. The captain had to abandon ship. Abandon, A-B-A-N-D-O-N, -A abandon. Yes, ma'am, thanks, Kayla. And here we have Elakia from Webb Middle School. And okay, your first spelling word is irony. It's not clear whether Socrates was speaking with irony or generally believed that he knew nothing. Irony. I-R-O-N-Y. Irony. Yes. Thanks, Elakia. And here we are with Red Raven from Greenspun Junior High School. Hi, Red Raven. Your first spelling word is soldier. The soldier reported for her uniform inspection. Soldier. S-O-L-D-I-E-R. Soldier. There you go. Thanks, Red Raven. So that's round one. Deanna, your next spelling word is urgency. There was a distinct lack of urgency in his manner. Urgency. U R G E. N C Y urgency. Yes. Thanks, Diana. And Asher, come on up for your second spelling word. It's badger. The badger became friends with a meerkat. Badger. B A D G E R. Badger. Yes. Thanks, Asher. Have a seat. And we'll have Lane come up. Lane, your next spelling word is wrestle. The team could only wrestle in the practice gym. Wrestle. 
W R E S T L E. Wrestle. Yes, thanks, Lane. Wyatt, got another spelling word for you. It's pursuit. The patrol car sped off in pursuit of the robbers. Pursuit. P U R S U I T. Pursuit. Yes, thanks, Wyatt. Kayla? Your next spelling word is rotation. The group had a clear rotation for the game. Rotation. R O T A T I O N. Rotation. Yes. And Ilakia? Your next spelling word is cabana. We entered the cabana to keep from getting sunburned. Cabana. C A B A N A. Cabana. Yes. Thanks, Ilakia. And Red Raven, another spelling word for you. Your word is kindred. Italian and Spanish are kindred languages. Kindred. K I N D R E D. Kindred. Yes. All right, Diana, got another spelling word for you. Originate. Monopoly did originate in 1935. Originate. O R G O R G I N A T. I spelled it wrong anyway, so. And so go ahead and say the word one more time. Originate. And that is incorrect. There is an I there after the O-R. O-R-I-G-I-N-A-T-E. Have a seat over there. We'll see what happens. Uh, Asher, we have another spelling word for you. And it is yolk. The cook never used the yolk of the egg in his omelets. Yolk. Y-O-L-K. Yolk. Yes, thanks, Asher. And we move to Lane. Lane, your next spelling word is juncture. At this juncture, I'd like to make an important announcement. Juncture. J-U-N-C-T-U-R-E. Juncture. Yes, thanks, Lane. Have a seat. And Wyatt, got another spelling word for you. Your word is nourish. They needed good food to nourish their bodies. Nourish. N O. U R I S H, nourish. Yes, thanks, Wyatt. Kayla, here's your next spelling word barometer. Erica predicts the weather by using the barometer in her kitchen. Barometer. B A R O M E T E R, barometer. Yes, thanks, Kayla. Ilakia? Your next spelling word is invigorate. Food containing calcium can invigorate health. Invigorate. I N V I G O R A T E. Invigorate. Yes, thanks, Ilakia. And Red Raven. Your next spelling word is hypothesis. The student gave the teacher their hypothesis. Hypothesis. H Y P O T H E S I S. Hypothesis. Yes. All right, Asher, you're up. Your next spelling word is systemic. Doctors will prescribe systemic antibiotics. Systemic, S-Y-S-T-E-M-I-C, -S systemic. Yes, thanks, Asher. Lane, got another spelling word for you. It's hemisphere. Davion lived in the Southern Hemisphere. Hemisphere. H-E-M-I-S, 
P H E R E, hemisphere. Yes. All right, Wyatt. Your next spelling word is quotient. The students had to find the quotient for each problem. Quotient. Q U O T I E N T. Quotient. That's correct. Thanks, Wyatt. And Kayla? Your next word is eloquence. Though Dominique had been worried about the speech she had to make, she spoke with eloquence. Eloquence. E L O Q U E N C E. Eloquence. Yes. And Elikia? Your next spelling word is gypsum. The lake water is saturated with gypsum, the material used for plaster of Paris. Gypsum. G Y P S U M. Gypsum. Yes, ma'am. And Red Raven. Your next spelling word is prowess. Erica demonstrated her debating prowess at the tournament. Prowess. P R O W E S S. Prowess. Yes. And Asher, your next spelling word is vulnerable. Loss of the rook left the queen vulnerable to capture. Vulnerable. V U L N E R A B L E. Vulnerable. Yes. Thanks, Asher. And Lane? Your spelling word now is zoology. Sheila is studying zoology in college. Zoology. Z O O L O G Y. Zoology. Yes. Thanks, Lane. And Wyatt, got a spelling word for you. It's clemency. Our appeal for clemency has been considered. Clemency. C L E M E N C Y. Clemency. Yes. All right, Wyatt and Kayla. Your next spelling word is fortuitous. The discovery of the files was fortuitous. Fortuitous. F O R T U I T O U S. Fortuitous. Yes. And Ilakia. Your spelling word is Olympiad. The 26th Olympiad was in Atlanta, Georgia. Olympiad. O L Y M P I A D. Olympiad. That's correct. Thanks, Alakia. And Red Raven. Your next spelling word, rudimentary. Anyone with rudimentary knowledge of math knows that one plus one equals two. Rudimentary. R U D I M E N T A R Y. Rudimentary. Yes. All right, Asher, we're back to you. Your next spelling word is fuselage. The crew, passengers, and cargo, they're all located in the airplane's fuselage. Fuselage. F-U-S-I-L-A-G-E. Fuselage. And that's incorrect, Asher. Fuselage is F-U-S-E-L-A-G-E. -E. Go have a seat there with Ms. Onyx. We'll see what happens. Thank you, sir. And Lane, we have a spelling word for you. It's lozenge. My mom suggested taking a lozenge so my throat would feel better. Lozenge. L-O-S-E-N-G-E. -E. Lozenge. And that's incorrect, Lane. Lozenge has a, an, a Z in it. L-O-Z. 
E-N-G-E. So have a seat with Ms. Tonics. We'll see what happens. And Wyatt, have a spelling word for you. It's transcendence. Henry David Thoreau hoped to find transcendence through his experience with nature. Transcendence. T-R-A-N-S-C-E-N-D-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Transcendence. Yes. All right, Wyatt. And um, Kayla, your next spelling word is geocarpic. A peanut is one of the few plants that's geocarpic. Geocarpic. G-E-O-C-A-R-P-I-C. Geocarpic. Yes. Ilakia. Your next spelling word is liege. She had a right to call on every liege subject for assistance. Liege. L I E G E. Liege. Yes. All right, Red Raven, got one for you. It's nebulous. Normality is a nebulous concept. Nebulous. N-E-B-U-L-O-U-S. Nebulous. Yes. All right, Wyatt. You're up next, friend. And your spelling word is calisthenics. Calisthenics is recommended for good health. Calisthenics. C a l i s t h e n i c s calisthenics yes now kayla your next spelling word is accomplice xavier was tim's accomplice in the surprise party accomplice a c c o m p l i c e accomplice yes all right, Ilakia. Your next spelling word? Jambalaya. My family makes jambalaya every weekend. Jambalaya. J A M B A L A Y A, Jambalaya. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. And Red Raven. Your next spelling word is masseuse. Lisa spent an hour at the spa being pampered by her masseuse. Masseuse. M A S S E U S. Masseuse. And that's incorrect. There's another E on the end of masseuse. M-A-S-S-E-U-S-E. -S -S -E -E. So Red Raven, go ahead and have a seat. We'll see what happens here. And we go back to Wyatt. Your spelling word is homogenous. The teenager was part of a homogenous group that dressed alike. Homogenous. H-O-M-O-G-E-N-O-U-S. Homogenous. And that's incorrect, Wyatt. Homogenous is H-O-M-O-G-E-N, and then there's an E before the O-U-S. H-O-M-O-G-E-N-E-O-U-S. Right. Have a seat with Miss Donix, and we'll see what happens here. And Kayla, your next spelling word is tambourine. Alaya mm -hmm. loves to play the tambourine. Tambourine. T-A-M-B-O-U. R I N E, tambourine. Yes. And now, Ilakia. Your next spelling word osteopathic. Dr. Scott believes in natural healing, so she practices osteopathic medicine. Osteopathic. 
O S T E O P A T H I C osteopathic and that's correct and ladies and gentlemen allow me to present the top two eighth grade spellers in the Clark County School District Kayla and Ilakia. and now that we have these top two spellers we still have to determine which of them will be our first place speller and which will be our second place speller so we got a few more words to go let's see what happens Kayla will you step on up for your next spelling word it is vertiginous. The spin-out ride caused riders to become dizzy or vertiginous. Vertiginous. V-E-R-T-I-G-E-N-O-U-S. Vertiginous. And that's incorrect. Vertiginous. V-E-R-T-I-G-I. N-O-U-S, but just sit right down there. Don't go anywhere. Ilakia, we have a spelling word for you. And it is bullion. My mom always adds bullion to rice. Bullion. B-O-U-I-L-L-O-N. Bullion. And that's correct. So let me check with the judges. Have a seat there, Ilakia. But I'm pretty sure that Ilakia is the top speller in the eighth grade in the Clark County School District. And Kayla, you're the second place eighth grade speller in the Clark County School District. Congratulations to both of you. And thank you for tuning in to the Clark County School District 2023-2024 Spelling Bee. We wish all of our spellers the best of luck at the Nevada State Bee, which will take place in March. And we'll see you next year for the next Clark County School District Spelling Bee on Vegas PBS.